Good morning, everybody. All right, today is pour. I am using some leftover paints that I have. Um, they're a little bit thick, so I've thinned them down. And I just wanted to play around a bit and see what happens. I took some paint. I got a great deal. I got a great deal on some McCloskey Special Effects um, Translucent Color Glaze. So I wanted to give this a try. Um, I mixed some up uh, with my pouring medium. And the pouring medium is uh, Liquitex pouring medium along with water and some Elmer's glue. Some of these are a little on the gloppy side. So let's get rid of that one. So I am going to start and I'm just going to put a spritz of oil into the cup. Um, hopefully this will help release it a little better and it'll give it a little bit of added fluidity, I guess I should say. These are still a little thick for me. I'm just going to top these off with a little bit of water, give them a quick Why is it when I'm recording? Everything that can go wrong does. A little bit there. All right. Quick mixing. We just want to make sure that we're going to have the right consistency going on here. That is way too thick still. That's a better drizzle. All right. That's better. Look at the vibrancy of this. So what I did is I took the McCluskey colors and I did a test and I tried some of them on their own and it came out really, really cool. Um, and then I got the idea to mix it into some of my other pigments. Um, just to really kind of amp up the color. So I'm going to throw on a pair of gloves real quick and away we shall go. Yellow. So this red orange. Let's do some blue. So the first three are almost like primaries going on there. And then let's add some pink. Some of this maroon. Do some blue. Hi, Mocha. My kitty just came to visit me. Okay, 
Okay. Let's add a little bit of white. In. And I like this purple. It's nice deep maroon. Get some yellow. Kitty, kitty, I'm sorry I can't touch you right now. Red. Let's get a little more of this blue going. I hear you, kitty, kitty. have enough going on here. Do a little bit of white. Okay. And maybe a little more pink to see just what goes on here. Alright, let's pull these off. If I need to fill in any spots, I've got a little bit of extra. I'm going to do a little bit of one of these. Maybe one of those, just to give this a little bit of a mix. Well, I don't know what we're going to get, but we're going to see. Let's do a pour. I think I want to get a little bit of this on the outside because I'm liking Okay, I think I got enough paint, and I might have enough left over to do a quick little something. So, let's just make all of this touch a little bit. We're very, very gently just giving this the swirl. We don't want to over mix anything. We don't want anything moving too fast that we're going to lose some of our colors or shapes. Bring the 
this down. Get it covering this corner. Get our weight back in the center. I'm going to bring you down. See if I can keep a little bit of this prettiness going along. Last corner. All right. Let's get this back into the middle. hands and we'll see what torching will give us with some of this I know I cringe every time I hear my own voice I have this lovely little lisp I have never outgrown Now I got a lot of paint on here so I can afford to pour some more off and I think I'm going to get some more things going on. You can see I'm getting a couple little bubbles here. You don't want to keep your paint or your paint, your heat in any one spot for too long. All right. Let's see. Just trying to open this up a little. I'm sure you're looking at very goofy tipped camera angles at the moment. I apologize, everyone. The little bubble fall right over the edge there.
on our right paint weight back into the middle and I'm going to let this open up down here a bit a little bit of this edges <laughs> I see a bulldog forming right in the middle there see the nose and eye Look at that little nose. I just stuck my finger in it, and there's the eye. I might be able to get something cute out of this. All right. I see I'm getting some cells now that I've thinned this off a bit. Now I give it another bout of heat. And it is chilly in my basement and it is extremely humid That's what we have for this morning's pour. I will, of course, show you video once this is dry. Um, I'm interested to see how this little test concoction comes out. So um, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Desco Artistry. Um, I'm saying I'm way too much because apparently I need more coffee. So you all have a great day. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you let me know any questions you might have. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Have a great one, everybody.
All right, I have a little bit of extra paint left over from my last pour, and I have this little picture frame, and I thought I'd just see what we end up with. And the rest, I think, is going to be a very, very beautiful skin. I love it. I can't wait to get a photo in this. And the rest of what I'm doing is just pouring a little bit in here. For some skins.
this is just a mist of a little bit of mica and rubbing alcohol it breaks up the surface a little bit and when it dries that little shimmering mica I like the effect I get um, so that dissipate a bit little heat and voila thank you for joining me this was just a quick little um, view I think we're better off this way uh, hopefully I'm getting this filming right all this over here I will use to make jewelry and I have some pretty cool drips going on here with some bright colors that I hopefully will get some nice pieces out of so thank you for joining me today and uh, have a blessed day. Thank you.